Hi, my name is Bill Laboon. I'm the Technical Education Lead at Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And today I'm going to discuss crowd loans. So the first thing that I want to mention about crowd loans is that this is simply one way to access them. There will be uh, other ways that uh, different providers will provide. Uh, however, I'm showing how to do it through Polkadot.js. If you've never used Polkadot.js, you can use your favorite web browser to go to polkadot.js.org slash apps, and it will show you a uh, uh, network explorer similar to this one. The first thing that you will need to do on polkadot.js is determine which network you want to interact with. Uh, here you can see that I'm on Kusama, looking in the upper left-hand corner. However, you could switch to Polkadot, uh, or whichever chain that you would like to use. Personally, for this, I am using a local testnet, uh, but you will probably not want to do this unless you're doing some development work. Uh, this is simply uh, so that I can set things up uh, exactly how I want them. So once you are uh, accessing uh, the correct network, so this would, uh, again, you know, generally be Kusama, uh, Polkadot, or uh, anything else would generally be a test network of some, some sort. If you go to network parachains at the top, this will show you that on my particular test relay chain here, I have two parachains running, ID 200 and 300, and I have six parathreads. Now, parathreads in this context, we can see all six of them now. Parathreads in this context are basically potential parachains. They're blockchains that have not yet permanently uh, connected uh, to the, the relay chain. In order to do so, they will need to win an auction. And just like in an auction for fine art, you want to have the biggest bid of tokens in order to get your parachain slot, since you are competing against uh, others who are also uh, trying to get this parachain slot. So there are a variety of ways that you could do this. Perhaps the simplest would be if you were able to store, you as the uh, owner of the parachain, uh, were able to store up enough tokens to win the auction on your own. But many parachains will try to use the, uh, uh, the crowd uh, of people who would like to participate in their parachain to help provide enough tokens for them to win the auction. So they can do this by offering some sort of benefit to users and whatever uh, benefit this is will vary from chain to chain. So it makes sense to do some research on this in exchange for tokens that they can use to win the auction. Now these tokens will be locked for the duration of this crowd loan and the lease period that the parachain has that parachain slot. However, if you go through the crowd loan process, then you are guaranteed to eventually get your tokens back once the lease period ends or if the crowd loan fails, it doesn't reach its cap. So it's very important to realize you are not sending tokens uh, to any particular account. You're not, you were using the, the built-in crowd loan module. You're not just transferring uh, tokens to, to some account. You will not use the transfer extrinsic uh, to, do, to do anything here. So if we go to crowd loan, we can see which crowd loans are currently running. We can see one minute is left uh, for several of these uh, crowd loans. Uh, so we'll see uh, what happens when they end. Uh, but before that happens, let's look at all the information we have on them. So we can see the ID for this top uh, crowd loan for, uh, relevant to the uh, para thread is 2004. It is active. Actually, if we make this a little bigger, we can see that uh, the, the user, the account who did this is, is named Eve. It is ending in 30 seconds or at block 2000, we are at block 1996. It is going for lease period one. Uh, we can see others are going for uh, a larger number of lease periods. This is going for eight. 
and it is raised zero out of 300 maximum uh, units. The count is zero, and I have not yet contributed. So now we will watch uh, as uh, these leases have ended. We can see that they are no longer active. I cannot uh, contribute to them, and they in fact um, ended in the completed uh, section here. So let's look at those I can contribute to. So here we have uh, Alice. Uh, Alice uh, has set a, a time uh, longer in the future for hers to end, and she is looking for 100,000 units. We can see that two people, two accounts rather, have contributed to Alice's uh, crowd loan. Uh, and in fact, one of these accounts is one that I own. We can tell because the asterisk has turned green. So I'm going to contribute with another one of my accounts here. Alice is going to contribute 20 units. Uh, so while we have Alice is feeling generous, she'll contribute 120 units. And we can see here, the minimum allowed is one unit and the remaining until cap, basically how many uh, is like the maximum number that can be uh, obtained is 99.35 kilo units. So this is something that's a little bit confusing. You may see the 120 and think that, oh, wait, this is more than 99. However, always check the denomination since Polkadot.js will automatically use SI prefixes uh, such as kilo for 1,000 uh, to, uh, to uh, show, show the values here. So it's very important to look both at the actual number and the denomination that it's using. So I'm going to contribute. So Alice is contributing 120 units. We will wait. Uh, we can see that it's now in a block and we can see the number has increased slightly uh, to 762. Alice can contribute again. You can see the count has gone up because Alice is an account that has never contributed uh, to this. Alice can contribute some more if she likes. You can see my uh, user is still Alice. So Alice is going to do 115.4321 uh, units this time. She will contribute. We will notice that the number goes up here to 877. However, the count has not increased since the, it's the same account contributing again. So now Alice's uh, 235 or so dot are now locked uh, until either the lease period ends uh, or the, um, uh, you know, if, the, if the crowd loan uh, uh, it, it is closed and the, uh, uh, the tokens uh, released back to the individual uh, users. So here uh, we can see that Eve never received anything for her, um, her crowd loan. And so Eve actually can close this. So we're, all the others have to wait uh, until you know, they, they participate in an auction. So Eve is going to close this out. Actually, anyone, anyone can close uh, out an account uh, for here. So now Eve could make a new uh, uh, token. Uh, excuse me, uh, crowd loan. So she's going to make one for two hundred. That will end at block twenty five hundred, and she is going to go for at least period sixteen through twenty three. So you can see this is the maximum uh, number of lease periods that can be uh, competed for in an auction. So obviously, as an individual user who is not creating a parachain, you would not be able to create a uh, crowd loan, um, but just to sort of show you what happens from the beginning here. So we have a new crowd loan and we are, so Eve has created this for her parachain in 2004. We're going to uh, contribute to it with another account. So Alice is going to contribute everything that she can. Note, of course, she cannot contribute more than the cap, right? So 201, 200.0001 uh, will not work. Uh, 200 is the uh, largest amount. So we contribute. 
and we uh, sign and submit. And here we can see that Eve's parachain is capped. So Eve was asking for 200 units for the auction and she received 200 units uh, for the auction. So this does not necessarily mean that she will uh, win the auction, but uh, presumably Eve has determined how many uh, tokens that she would need in order to have a good chance of winning it. And so she is probably in a good place here. So this is obviously a very uh, simple overview uh, of crowd loans. There's a lot more detail one could get into. Uh, I recommend that you read through the Polkadot Wiki at wiki.polkadot.network to really understand uh, how crowd loans work. But hopefully this video has whet your appetite and has made you interested in participating in the crowd loan process.